uh, unit two module two uh, uh, deals with the challenges of growth like uh, every other thing in life when you are moving even individuals if you are growing if you are moving forward whether in a work setting whether in the family setting as you grow as you progress challenges come in in human nature and social setting it may come in terms of jealousy from your peers from your colleagues but for business as you the business grows there are market challenges different types of challenges you know begin to crop up but it is very important that the business try to identify these challenges and uh, try to deal with them before they get uh, complicated in keeping up with the market you need to plan ahead have your business plan and try to uh, keep up with the with the plan you already art articulated because plans have to go pari so with the expected uh, outcome so you need to plan ahead there are the issue of cash flow and uh, financial management you know that everybody that they uh, have an idea of how to manage accounting and people uh, uh, often just assume that am i not the one who has been uh, keeping my own money they think it's just about uh, receipts and payment there are issue of cash flow how much money do you have uh, available in order to meet the demands to buy your raw material how, how much do you have enough money to meet you know your, your creditors when they come knocking at the door if you need to buy you know certain things pay your overhead when you're talking about cash uh, flow management they warn that you don't have to go and sell something you need to borrow money in order to meet all those operational demands you need to incur. Uh, 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 do you have money available for them or easy convertible money that is uh, you know available these are a part of financial management the problem solving you know skills that the uh, people with skill you have to deal with them we discuss extensively about the skills when you don't have a, a skill concerning the business you are doing and uh, you will encounter a lot of problems how do you manage your system the skills and attitude both of you the entrepreneur and those that are working with you if your employees and all the people connected with business have that mind that they are stakeholders in this business the business will move faster and it progress more the business will be healthy but it, it, it depends on the way you treat people some people uh, treat people that are, are working with them so impersonal you know with the nonchalant non-committant attitude and those people because they are not happy they don't put in their best so the attitude the skills are very necessary in keeping up with the challenges and more importantly uh, uh, when there is change it may be technological change you try to adapt to change especially when your competitors have switched over to the new technology if you stay within the analog system you will lose market you will lose business you will lose profitability so you always welcome change that uh, environmental changes that affect the business the technology and uh, like we talked in the legal aspect of market when there is no new laws and new policies you apply to key in in those uh, new things because if you don't your competitors will and eventually it will now affect your market and uh, before i conclude i will talk about the issue of uh, leadership if you have a business and you want your business to progress the way you want 
you need transformational leadership. Not a moribund old uh, KH uh, leaders that we want to 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 keep. Uh, uh, it takes three days to process a, a, a payment for something, or when there is a new thing to do, uh, you want to call board meeting in order to take one single action. Business, the environment is dynamic, and with globalization, the complexity is getting more complex. So, in conclusion, we say that a growth is the goal of virtually every business owner, every single business owner, after all. But, recognizing and overcoming the common pitfalls associated with growth is essential for the business to continue to grow and thrive. Let's end here for today.